When Melbourne awakens from its sleep, thousands of people commute to work every morning, creating emissions and litter on their way. As in all big cities, Melbourne has to struggle through a combat against congestion and pollution day by day. One particular regulator has taken up the challenge, the EPA, or the Environment Protection Authority. This authority regulates pollution in the state of Victoria, including the city of Melbourne. It approves licenses and permits to industry partners and responds to pollution incidents. 350 employees work for EPA Victoria. One of them is David Barry, who works as an environment protection officer. On a daily basis we deal with pollution reports from the community and what that means is it can be pollution in the local creek or the river in terms of oil or dead fish. It also can be discharges to the air from the local industry either resulting in uh, uh, poor air quality or it can be resulting in odour or other things which affect the amenity of the area. EPA mostly relies on members of the general public to report those incidents online or by calling their 1300 number. EPA assesses the report and where it has occurred. Each incident also receives a risk rating so that the environment protection officers like David Barry can gauge how urgent the matter is. Today, David Barry and his colleague Gemma Crawford respond to a potential pollution in a creek in one of the many parks in Melbourne. We're taking water samples so that we can go away and look for residual chemicals that may be affecting the creek. And we're also taking in-field measurements to look at the uh, dissolved oxygen and the pH in the creek. Because if the oxygen level in the creek drops, then the critters that live in this creek will suffer and perhaps die. David Barry records the codes from the samples and takes photos to make sure that the person who's likely to have caused the contamination can be confronted with his act. Back at the office, the system generates an action plan for the officer. It lists tasks to educate the licensee on their compliance obligation. The status of the investigation is always up to date and can be viewed by every EPA employee. A complex process with many single steps that relies on a highly sophisticated IT system behind it. That system is SAP CRM with SAP Investigative Case Management, which is part of SAP's Urban Matters program to create better run cities. It provides new solutions for EPA's specific processes. We have a lot of data. We have some 400,000 pieces of data coming into the organisation. We've got, I think, around 17,000 outside organisations in, in, interacting with us. You've got to go to something which is tried and proven and then try and adapt the organisation to a solid system. And that's why we went down this path with SAP. To reform EPA's systems and implement SAP's client relationship management, SAP and its partner NTT Data came in as support for EPA. SAP provided one platform for our 58 different business requirements um, that, that we utilise from our licensing activities to our approvals to the pollution reports that we get from the public and from the reporting that we get from businesses. It's really helped streamline our processes. SAP CRM with investigative case management is a good example of how SAP Urban Matters can help improve people's lives and help EPA Victoria make Melbourne to stay the most livable city in the world.